Chris Balzotti. We're standing here at one of our bioacoustic sensors or sound meters. These bioacoustic sensors are important because they allow us to listen to the forest. They allow us to hear things and follow and track birds. They allow us to track insects and it also allows us to track invasive species. Unfortunately, with these bioacoustic sensors, we're not using them to their full potential. One of the difficult parts of these sensors is that we have to listen to the data after we collect the data and it becomes too overwhelming. But as we integrate technology and we are able to automate that process, it allows us to understand more of these patterns and put more of them out and get more data. One example of where we're not able to use them to the full potential is we've been working with students on citizen science projects and we've been feeding the data from these bioacoustic sensors and having the kids go through and identify the birds and the insects. But one of the issues is that there's so much noise and there's so much data to go through that it's become overwhelming for the children. So as we automate and are able to clean that data and give them less data to go through, we'll be able to utilize both the sensor and the citizen science to its full potential.